What is new about Modern Warfare 3 Zombies? Well, this video is going to conclude you guys all the new things they've brought into the game, including the weapons, the game itself, how it plays, the things you do in the game, and as well the little things like the field upgrades and the camos. So let's get into it. So starting off with the weapons, with each class of the weapon, uh, you have a couple of new guns they've brought in, but a majority of the guns are all the guns from Modern Warfare 2 from 2022. Now, with these guns, they're nothing different from the OG version, they're just brought into the game, I guess, for more content, I guess, for more for more things to do, you know? Now, getting down to the playstyle of what Modern Warfare 3 brings, especially to zombies, it's very similar to what Modern Warfare 3 was like. I mean, they've changed a couple of things, they brought back the stims that made you run faster, and they brought back you know the fact uh, the longer sliding which is pretty cool it's not really changed there are different things in terms of the game like you have pack a punch you have different aat types to you know you can you know, like dead wire brain rot things like that and you've even got a pretty badass wonder weapon that we're showcasing right now the all new one and i'm not gonna lie it's pretty fun now the things to do in this mode that would be more productive to play on rather than just killing zombies i would recommend doing the contracts now to do them you go onto the map and you find the blue icon and after that when you go to the blue icon you would see a cutscene like this of you looking at a phone and it would bring you to a certain location to go to and you would have to defeat a boss or hold an area out and it's actually quite fun. I even got told as well this is good for ranking up your level and as well for getting rare items to bring back for your next game. So this would be like killing two birds with one stone at this point, you know? So coming back to the guns they've brought in, we're just going to say the names of them, nothing like description of them. We're just going to show you guys the names of the guns and what they've brought in. So first off we've got SV545, MTZ556, Six, Hold your 556, five, MCW, OG58, FR5.56, Bass B, Sidewinder, MTZ762, Striker, WSP Swarm, AMR9, the WSP9, the Rival 9, Striker 9, Lockwood 680, Haymaker, Revita, Polymyet 762, DG58 LSW, Hold your 26, Bruin MK9, KV Enforcer, MCW 6.8, M56, MTZ Interceptor, Cat AMR, Longbow, the KV Inhibitor, CDR45, the Renetti, TYR, WSP Stinger, and the Flast, the RGL80. So in total of the new guns that they have added, there are 34 new guns they have brought into Modern Warfare 3. And add on all the other guns from Modern Warfare 2 they've added, I believe it's around 170 guns in total from Modern Warfare 3. So now let's dive into the field upgrades and the weapon camos you can get onto this game. Starting for the field upgrade you have energy mine you have frenzy guard which is actually pretty cool in my opinion you also have healing Ayura, frost blast ether shroud which is really good in cold war as well and tesla storm i guess it's kind of cool that they added these field upgrades to the game because then i guess when people are a fan of cold war they get to play this game and they're like hey it's pretty cool that i can use ether shroud you know now down to the weapon camos, we'll be showing them off to you guys now. Golden Enigma, Zircon Scale, Serpentinite, Borealis. Some interesting camos for sure. Golden Enigma definitely catches my eye. I like the look of that camo, but what camo do you guys say looks interesting to you, you know? Now, would the game be worth it for its price? Personally, I would say for £60 for the standard edition is definitely not worth the price, especially if you've already bought an... Modern Warfare 2 from 2022. The game has four modes in total of Campaign, War Mode, Team Deathmatch, and Modern Warfare Zombies. Now, like I said again, if you haven't played Modern Warfare 2, this game will feel brand new to you and you'll actually really enjoy it. But I guess to those that have bought the game a bit like me, some might enjoy it. Personally, I don't really mind it, but as I'd seen, the game is quite, in my opinion, it seems quite lazy in a way. Like, for example, the uh, the call-outs, so say a grenade, you know, an operator calls out the grenade, it's the same, it's copied and pasted from Modern Warfare 2. It's, it's literally just copy and paste, in my opinion. But the zombies mode does feel pretty cool in a way. If you're just there for the zombies mode, you might enjoy it. Personally, I kind of enjoyed the zombies mode. I thought it was a cool add-on for the Modern Warfare series. With the contracts you can do, with the exploration you can do. If you're a DMZ and Outbreak player, this would be perfect for you, you know? But I would say for £60, it's probably not worth it. Now, if this video did help you out in terms of giving you guys a good insight on what things they've brought in, what the zombies mode is like mainly, and mainly just giving you a good idea on whether to buy it or not, then that is the main part of the video. 
If you guys did, then feel free to hit that like and subscribe. It'd be much appreciated for the channel's growth. We are on the main goal of 1K subscribers. And we like to do streams as well. So if you guys want to check into that, we do a lot of streams. And we have a great community. Like always though, guys, have a great day over there. And I'll catch you in the next one.